there has been a series of controversy and rising tension right now for former US President Donald Trump and his company, the Trump Organization. With the recent news on his indictment, we can't help but stay curious on what has been going on all this time in his controversial properties and businesses. Trump Tower is the ultimate symbol of success in the 1980s. It has a lot of glitz and style, but behind its shiny exterior are a lot of secrets that are sometimes dirtier than affection. Now join us as we reveal the shocking stories, both past and present, behind former President Donald Trump's signature skyscraper. We'll talk about the shocking new expose alleging historic fraud at the tower, the quote-unquote confidential file on display in the building's bar, and the shady business school Kris Jenner used to run that is now allegedly based in the tower. Number 1. Alleged Historic Fraud Forbes' scathing report has brought up new claims of theft at Trump Tower. In 2022, Letitia James, the district attorney for New York, filed a civil fraud case against the building for $250 million, or 208 million pounds. Now, Forbes says that they have found proof that Donald Trump's New York City trophy building has been used for theft in the past. In 1983, when the tower opened to the public, Trump told Forbes that 85% of the apartment units had already been sold for between $500,000 and $12 million before the tower's grand opening. He also said, the apartments will bring in $268 million, all profit. Number 2. Commercial Square Footage Letitia James's fraud case is based on claims that Trump lied about how big his penthouse and the tower was. Now, Forbes says that the size of the commercial space in the tower is also in question. In one case, the Trump Organization says that the store space is 114,000 square feet, but in another, it says that it is only 46,000 square feet. In the condo declaration for Trump Tower, which was filed in 1983, it says that the building has 182,000 rentable square feet of business space. But the expose says that a government document claims the rentable room is 257,000 square feet and that loan records say it is 215,000 square feet. The number of empty rooms seems to be all over the place. Between 2011 and 2017, in between 11% and 22% of the building was listed as empty in official papers. But a Trump Organization investment brochure said that in 2012, 99% of the units were full. Number 3. Evaluation of failing residential sales Despite this claim, official property titles seem to show that this wasn't true. Forbes says that about 60% of the flats, like this one, sold in the first year that the tower was open. The most expensive apartment in the building sold for $2 million, or 1.7 million pounds, which is lesser than the $12 million that Trump said it was worth. The least expensive apartment went for just $130,000. Now, it is said that the building made about $45 million in its first year of business. It wasn't enough to pay back the building's $130 million loan, and it wasn't even close to the nine-figure profit that Trump had promised. But the building still made a good amount of money, mostly because it had retail and business spaces. Number four, an ongoing civil lawsuit. The famous Forbes article comes at the same time as the bombshell civil case that has shocked Trump Tower and the rest of Trump's real estate business. On September 21, 2022, New York Attorney General Letitia James filed a civil lawsuit against the former president, along with members of his family and executives of the Trump Organization. She said that he quote-unquote falsely inflated his net worth by billions of dollars to get better bank loans and tax breaks. The lawsuit involves 20 buildings, including Trump Tower and Donald's private triplex apartment in the building. Under the suggested penalties, 
Trump might not be able to run businesses in New York ever again. Number 5. Erratic Valuations The article also talked about how Trump Tower's values were all over the place. In 1997, a Forbes writer asked Trump how much the tower was worth and wrote, Trump says $275 million. A valuation from the same time period said that the tower was worth only $65 million, or 54 million pounds. In a Forbes interview in 2015, Trump said, If I wanted to sell Trump Tower today, I'd get $2.5 billion. He then said that his profits for the year could reach $90 million. But tax and lending records show that the net winning profit was more like $15 million. Now, while their response to Forbes' claims focused on Letitia James's fraud lawsuit, the Trump Organization denies any wrongdoing. Number 6. Exaggerated Figures Some of the most shocking claims in the case have to do with Trump Tower itself, as well as the former president's triplets. James says that its value was based on cherry-picked and inflated numbers from the past. Over the years, different ways of figuring out how much a building is worth are said to have been used, which led to huge price increases. In 2015, because of a change in the way the value was calculated, Trump Tower was worth $170 million, more than the year before, and almost $250 million more than the following year. Lastly, at number 8, a business school scam exposed. Kris Jenner used to be the chairwoman of Legacy Business School, which moved into the building in 2016 and made it its main school. But on September 16, 2022, a case was filed in New York County Supreme Court saying that the company owed more than $1 million in back rent. Even though Legacy Business School's master's and bachelor's degree programs cost a whopping $105,000 a year, this is the case. When the school first opened in Trump Tower, Kris Jenner was the face of it. There are even photos and videos of her in an ad for the school. The reality TV mogul allegedly had an exclusive dinner with the first 100 students who signed up. Now, Jenner stopped working with the company though after an article in the Daily Beast said that the New York Department of Education said that the business was just a new name for the European School of Economics. Dozens of lawsuits have been filed against the struggling business for not paying its bills. There was no sign that Kris Jenner knew anything was wrong. Now, what about you? What are some of the issues or controversies you've heard of about the Trump Tower even before Donald Trump's current indictment? Feel free to share them in the comments section below. Until next time!